tutorial setting up a data provider in TS Lab. In this bunch of videos designed to introduce zero coding algorithmic trading with TS Lab. In this video, you will find out how to get historical offline data for backtesting your strategies in TS Lab, how to set up and configure a data provider, and correctly build a chart. Stay tuned! Let's try to open a chart. To create a chart, go to the View menu and click Chart. An empty chart window opens, and now you need to select an instrument for the chart you want to build. To select an instrument, right-click on the chart, then Properties. In the opened window, click on the instrument, select Icon, then select the data provider. Right now it is empty, because this data provider must be configured first. In general, there are several ways to get data in TSLAB. The first one is to get data directly from your broker. For this, at least, you must have a live account with a broker. You can also use specialized data service providers, such as IQFeed, for example. In addition, the data can be downloaded from text files with quotes. We will use this option in the learning process because it is very convenient, simple, and most importantly, free. The good news is that we have already prepared a set of historical data on some liquid instruments with sufficient depth to complete the work of creating and testing profitable algorithmic strategies. A link to the quotes can be found below the video. So let's download some quotes and try to get them into TSLab. I suggest, for example, we take one of the most popular and liquid futures traded on CME, mini futures on the S&P 500 index. The ticker is called ES. So the quotes file has been downloaded. I suggest we create a folder where we will store all historical data on instruments. You can create this folder anywhere. I'll do it right in the root directory of TSLab. To do this, Go to the C drive, Program Files 86, TSLab 2.0, and create a quotes folder. OK. Now move the downloaded quotes file to the created folder. Done. For the next step, we need to set up a data provider for this file. To do this, go to the Data menu, open the Data Manager window. Here we need to add a data provider. Click Add, Offline Data, Next. Here we give the provider a name. It's better though to name it the same as a chosen instrument, so there is no confusion later. Select Text Files, Next. Now, what are the main settings you need to set in this window? First of all, specify the folder where we store the quotes files. We find the folder with our quotes. Here it is. Select Folder. The field trading place is not necessary to fill out, but I still enter the CME here. In fact, there are only three important settings. The first is a folder with quotes. We have got it. The second is the number of decimals. If you look at the ES quotes, you will see that this parameter is equal to 2. The third is the price step. In our case, it is equal to a quarter of the point, that is not 0.25. If you do not know the values of these parameters, you can always find them in the original source, on the website of the exchange where the instrument is traded. Everything is ready now. Other settings can be left as they are, we do not need them yet. The only thing is, I will change dollars to point, because the ES quotes are in points, not dollars. However, this setting only affects which symbol will be displayed in the report. Click Next. 
OK. We have created the text data provider. Now, finally, we can create a chart of our instrument. So back to the already open empty chart. Now, by right clicking, we can go into its settings and select the instrument we are interested in. To do this, click on the corresponding icon. We already see that the data provider Mini SNP, which we have just created, has appeared here. Select it, then select the quotes and click OK. And there we go, the chart of ES Futures. Next, how to work with a chart, how to change its appearance, how to add and remove indicators. To do this, we need to go to the chart editor. To go to the editor, you need to click the corresponding icon in the upper left corner. Click and get into the chart editor. This is what the main workspace looks like and is where you will do most of the work. OK, today we've learned three ways of getting historical data and the main settings for a data provider to correctly build a chart for a chosen instrument. In the next tutorial, we will cover the main features of the TSLab chart editor in more detail. If you have any questions or comments, please send them by email. We are here to help. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.